Well, hello there, motherfuckers. And I didn't want to have to talk about this, but I, I feel that I must put my two cents in. I didn't want to have to make a separate video, but, um, you know, many people are making their own videos on this. And so, it, you know, it comes with the territory being your YWC champ. I have to weigh in and make the official video. So I already mentioned it. Um... I believe it was in my SmackDown review about how I think that everybody who's saying that Roman Reigns' leukemia was a work, that it was part of a storyline that WWE and Roman Reigns lied about him having leukemia, even though he had leukemia in the past, um, people are saying... How could this guy be back so soon? It's been, you know, five, six months. Uh, he's barely lost any muscle mass. Um, he has lost some muscle mass. I do see it. He still looks good. But I, I definitely see that, uh, you know, he's not quite as big. But um, there's also people are saying that, you know, why is he not have any hair, you know, like kind of failing to realize that not everyone who has cancer goes through chemotherapy. Um, you know, there are alternatives. That's one of the most drastic ones, but people seem to fail to realize that there's varying degrees of cancer, you know, and some people, you know, especially if, and didn't Roman say in the beginning that they caught it early that, you know, that, um, that, that the leukemia came back and they caught it early. So that's always a a big thing, you know, that, that's always a helpful factor. You know, most of the time when you hear people surviving these uh, fatal diseases, it's usually when they catch it early. So, you know, everyone is just shirking all logic and all sensibilities. And you know what the funny thing is? It's like not even the people on here who normally bash it, uh, you know, who bash the product, even some people that praise it, you know, they they want to be controversial on here. They want to get some views. They want to get some notoriety. And so they're, they're, you know, falling in line with this conspiracy theory. And, you know, for all those who ever accused me of having opinions to go against the grain, I've stated this on a number of occasions. It would be a lot easier for me to do what JD does on here or many others like What Culture and just pretty much tell the niche audience what they want to hear because, you know, those are the people watching the product. Those would be the people more inclined to you know to to watch my videos right you know those are the people that to, who would actually search out wrestling videos on here people who haven't been watching in years yeah they'll click on a video on instagram and an old match on youtube here and there but they're not going to go looking for raw reviews and smackdown reviews yes there are some people but those are generally the people who are watching at the time that i started here on youtube you know, they might have continued to watch my reviews because they're loyal subscribers. But, you know, it would be easier for me. I, I could gain subscribers a lot faster if I do what JD does. And, and you guys know that, you know, I, I, I could play the role. I, I could obviously play devil's advocate. I do it all the time in my Raw and SmackDown reviews. I could see the perspective from inside the Smarks brain. So, you know, I could play that role, but, you know... Uh, that's neither here nor there because we're talking about something on a whole nother level. You're accusing a man of lying about a disease that, that has killed many people. Uh, and of course, there were some UK doctors that caught wind of this a uh, um, cancer organization, cancer fighting organization. They released some uh, tweets on, on, uh, on Twitter to counteract some of these arguments to make a lot of the trolls look foolish. And people were like, oh, it's a conspiracy. They had that ready to go. No, they didn't have that ready to go. They just saw a bunch of people making fools out of themselves and they felt that they should educate the uh, public there. 
Now, I'm not saying, you know, so this is brought about a lot of wokeness and everything. And this is, you know, we've seen a lot of people over the years jump the shark when it comes to sounding woke. You know, they're like, oh, the sheeple and everything like that. And I don't deny it, you know, in this world that you can't believe everything what you hear. You can't believe the media. But we're talking about wrestling people. We're not talking about the current events. We're not talking about the news. We're not talking about anything like that. We're talking about wrestling. We're talking about Roman Reigns. A guy comes out there, says he has leukemia. And I already said it because the people don't even want to say like what the reason is. They, but here it is. People are saying basically that WWE lied to get Roman over. Because before he announced he had leukemia, the fans hated him. The Smarks, I should indicate, hated him. And when he came, you know, when he made the announcement that he had leukemia, people, of course, were sympathetic. Even the smarkiest of Smarks were sympathetic to Roman Reigns. If you weren't, you probably were a pretty bad person, I would say. Um, you know, or just being unreasonable. I'm not saying you had to cry and pout about Roman, but it was pretty emotional. It was a sad uh episode of raw it was a sad day it was a sad thing to learn about the man you know he was just playing a character on tv um you know entertaining people for years and you know all of a sudden he comes out and says he has this uh drastic problem you know of course you can't help but feel sympathetic of of, of some sort for the man um and now people are saying that he was brought back but he was brought back too soon you know, and failing to realize that there's varying degrees of almost every single disease out there. Um, you know, people are saying, oh, well, I knew someone who had cancer. And, you know, they, uh, you, you know, were on the verge of dying and, and, and all these different stories. And they fail to realize that people are individuals, that there's been history. And this is like what, what they tried to say when they released those... Um, you know, the analysis, the medical analysis in the UK uh, on Twitter about trying to tell people that, you know, just because he, he came back and he was cleared by medical doctors to go wrestle again, uh, that doesn't mean that, you know, um, that his life still wasn't in jeopardy. You know, like you said, he, they said that he caught it early and everything. People are ignoring that because what they want to do is they want to sell this story that they think that WWE lied and they want to come on here and condemn WWE and everything because the thing is they don't have a problem with the lying they just don't like Roman Reigns and, and, and what the thing is with people like JD and I'm, I'm you know I've, I, I, I put the filter on I didn't want to attack people but now I have to because there's so many people you know, that, that would like bomb my videos talking about JD, JD's better than you, or all, all this nonsense and everything. And, you know, JD, like, you know, I said, the guy's charismatic on here, puts together some good videos, but that really just made me sick. The, the video he put on about the truth about Roman Reigns and just, you know, oh, it's very suspicious. It's, it's, it's very suspicious, guys, you, you know, very suspicious. Because JD has got a, a, an MD, apparently. JD, you know, changed the acronym to MD because the guy all of a sudden has become a doctor and he could diagnose people with leukemia. Oh, yeah. C comes on here on YouTube. B big professional here. You know, he should have made the video in the white lab coat, for God's sakes. Put a skeptoscope around your neck and, you know, just go all in here yeah all in right AEW style you know all in yeah can you imagine jd comes in you, you know um <laughs> with the white lab coat you know he's got the skeptoscope and stuff and he's got his AEW shirt on i'm in the doctor will see you now uh what doctor what's that shirt you got oh, oh AEW. hey you gotta watch this well i'm not really into wrestling you know you gotta watch this well you know i'm kind of 
think I might have, you know, experienced a, a, a slight heart murmur. Uh, you know, so I'm not treating you, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna block you, bro, because you know you're you're talking bad about e AEW. So I'm just gonna block this doctor's appointment. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying, he just closes the door and the appointment's over. It's probably gonna charge him anyway. But you know, that that's pretty much how it would be right there. You know, um, I, I, I totally ridiculous. You have no proof, no nothing, but you know, you want to get your Alex Jones on and you want to be Mr. Conspiracy Theorist, you know, you, you, you want to, uh, be one of these people, you, you know, you, you think you're Jesse Ventura, you're, you're Alex Jones, I said you had charisma, but you don't have anywhere near the charisma of those individuals you can't do that shtick i'm sorry you you know it's been successful for those guys but you know you and your little wrestling can see see it kind of loses it see when it has to do with real real world events it, it, it's interesting and people want to see it but when it has to do with wrestling first of all jd wwe is not even smart enough to do that you even say so yourself right the you know that wwe the way how they are right you know the the way how they manage things and you're not convinced mcmahon all the time and everything you know you know you so you you think you know wwe's not that smart of a company right so if they're not that smart of a company this is what i've been saying all week how would they be smart enough to come up with something so diabolical? If they're so stupid and, you know, they, I wouldn't say like stupid, but they're ignorant and, you know, they don't know how to formulate a show. Maybe there's some hope of that with Bruce Pritchard on creative right now and being Vince McMahon's right hand man. Um, you know, but if they're... That, that's the thing you realize that the way how wwe is and they're so out of touch and everything like that and i agree with you on that we have two different perspectives you know you think that wrestling should be more like nxt i feel that wwe should be not like the current product and not like nxt it's too much like nxt it's like nxt light it should be back to wwf <laughs> you know what i mean it, it, it should be like how it was in 98, 99, and 2000, um, you know, so I know you don't like Vince Russo and everything, and you made sure you, you know, you made your really bad, uh, Vince Russo <laughs> impression, uh, you know, and I'm not just saying that, like I said, you know, you're, you're good, JD, you're, you're, you're real good, I mean, you do some good videos and everything, you put some content, you've got personality, but, you know, to jump on this bandwagon, you know, at least what culture had some class because they knew they'd lose a lot of subscribers if they started talking shit like that. So, you know, they, they play it safe a little bit more on their channel. But, you know, you're going all in. You got quite a few subscribers yourself and you're, uh, you know, talking this, uh, this absolute hot garbage, hot garbage uh, about Roman Reigns and... You know, I'm so happy that I checked my uh, subscriptions today. I saw that the Schleg Daddy, Schleg Daddy, you, you know, um, and I said in the past, you should really subscribe to um, Schleg Daddy. Uh, very uh, good YWC member. And um, I, I, you know, I think you'll really enjoy his content. I, I was so happy to see that he actually um uh, the, uh you know he doesn't he didn't know my opinion i don't think i don't think he watches my videos but you know we're pretty much in unison about uh this you know he said it, it's completely ridiculous you're talking about conspiracy theories you know it's just it really is stupid stupid of everybody who is saying this stuff and there also, you know, there's people saying that, you know, uh, wrestling Jesus on here, how dare he call people psychopaths? No, that's absolutely right. Those people are psychopaths. The people saying that a guy would lie about his cancer, you know, and people, I know, let's play devil's advocate again. Let's get in the shoes of the conspiracy theorists that those people are stupid because they're just living in this world where 
They'll just believe anything they hear. That they will, you know, just fall in line like, oh, they're so horrible, you, you know, to say such a thing about Roman Reigns in the WWE. But they don't want to look in the mirror and see that they're accusing a wrestling company of a conspiracy theory. You, you know what I'm saying? This is not exactly like a government affair. We're talking about a wrestling organization that can't, that can barely even get uh, 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 three million viewers each week. That's who we're worried about. Okay, they might have, a, they might be have a global audience, but I mean. At the same time, the same people who discredit WWE, and I do myself, but if you discredit WWE and then you're also going to give them credit for doing something that would actually take a lot of balls. Well, see, they don't show any balls at all. They haven't shown balls in, seriously, over a decade. Almost like 15 years now, they haven't shown any balls on the show to do anything out of the ordinary. So, with that lack of balls, where would they be so ballsy to do something like fake somebody's cancer to get them over? You know, but you say, okay, so they, they had it under wraps. They don't want people to know that they were ballsy. Because the, the, the faking part's not part of the storyline. It's the getting Roman Reigns over at any cost storyline look they didn't need that they were doing plenty with roman reigns to try to bury him and everything i, I mean look, look where he was a year before the leukemia uh, announcement they had it all set up for roman reigns beat john cena go on keep facing opponents until he got to wrestlemania where he would beat brock lesnar right after john cena he goes back into the shield he kind of futzes around with the Shield for a few months and goes into the WrestleMania main event, and they beat Reigns, which destroyed all his momentum. Then they had a thousand rematches until he won at SummerSlam, which kind of was anticlimactic, really. You know, uh, they were good matches, but they were anticlimactic. You know, that was anticlimactic. I mean, he loses, 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 then he wins. You know, that doesn't really make any sense, especially when there wasn't any, like, screwy finish or anything. It was just like, oh, he lost. Okay, <laughs> so, you know, at Mania. And, then, oh, he won. Okay, so, you know, with that said, I'm saying they did plenty to try to discredit Reigns. At first, like 2015, were they shoving Reigns down our throat? Yes, and I admit that. But were they shoving him down our throats in 2018? No. They, if anything, which no one wants to say, because they all love him, J Seth Rollins was being shoved down our throats in 2018 more than anybody. You know, Seth Rollins, we're on fire tonight. You know, that that was what it was all about. And the cheese steaks are fabulous. Remember, that, that was... 2018 in a nutshell. It was all about, you know, Seth freaking Rollins. That's that's who the year belonged to, not Roman Reigns people. So people don't want to even admit that their guy was the focal point of the year. But no one says shit about that. Of course not, because it's, you know, it's the YWC, it's the IWC, where there's no real rules because it's unimportant because it's fucking wrestling. And it doesn't matter. And uh, like I'm saying, like you're you're going all in with this conspiracy theory, and not only is there nothing to back it up at all, and the evidence that you're using, such as a a cancer timeline and how long it's taken others to recover and what the effects of cancer had on them. Well, first of all, it, you know it's leukemia. It's there's so many different kinds of cancer. My grandmother uh, died of cancer, but that was a different kind. That was breast cancer. So there's different sorts of cancer, and there's varying degrees. And they also have really made strides in, in coming up with different ways of going about treatment. You know, so w when my grandmother died, uh, there wasn't a lot of advancements uh, in uh it, when, when it came to cancer research, there is now. And people are going to get into a whole different things about cures and everything. And you could say that, but that's not what this is about. 
it, it, it's just showing a bunch of ignorance. People are, they don't even stop to think of how ridiculous they sound. That they're so hell bent on pushing this hot garbage that they don't even realize that what they're saying also has a lot of falsities. If anyone is lying, it's you, the conspiracy theorist, because you're so hell bent on this idea that you have in your head, and you know it's true because you want WWE to look bad, and and, and you, it's like I don't know why you would want them to look bad as much as I might talk shit about them from raw and smackdown i've already stated i don't want this show to be bad i really don't i would love for it to go back the way it was and love this show before it became indie mania i would really love that but I, I i can't say that i and i can't say it would be so foolish what it what would be the reason for wanting to hate this company you know what, what would i get out of it there's nothing, you know, oh, I want WWE to be bad forever. No, I don't. But people want it that way. They want fuel to fire. And what does it do for them? What what would that do for your life knowing that WWE and Roman Reigns lied? And, okay, forget about that shit. You know what I'm saying? You're making like it's a big thing in your life, like it's a big event. And that, you know, if you uncover this, it, it would be like uncovering the mysteries of the universe. So, but you don't even want to take a look at yourself. Like I said, look in the mirror at your own argument. Do, do you even stop for a minute and look at the holes in your argument? Oh, there's holes in the story of WWE and Roman Reigns returning. How about the holes in your argument about how there's different types of individuals, different people respond to different types of treatment. There's different varying degrees of cancer. There's different kinds of cancer. There's so many different variables here. There's no way that you could make a conspiracy theory because first of all you don't know roman you haven't spoken to his doctors you don't know his history he hasn't disclosed that should he disclose that no he shouldn't because it's none of your fucking business quite frankly and people will say oh well see that there you go brad you know you're not wanting to look deep it it's wrestling it's wrestling who gives a fuck about it okay you know i rather just sit here and just say you know, God bless Roman Reigns that he's fine. You, you know, that that's what we should be saying. You know, and, and but why must we dig deeper? There's other things that we should concentrate on, I, I would think. You know, if that's what you want to do and you want to discover falsities, I would say to do so elsewhere when it comes to more important shit than WWE and Roman Reigns. Like, J Th JD thinks he hit it big. He thinks he he hit the fucking jackpot. You, you know, like, oh, I'm on to you. Yeah, you're, you're, you're Jessica Jones. You're a big-time fucking detective. You're fucking Columbo. You're Sherlock Holmes. You're probably all those things combined. You're, you're, you're a master detective. You know, you somehow, with no evidence, figured out that Roman Reigns uh, coming back at this time is suspicious. Ooh, it's nefarious. There's a nefarious plot going on. And JD, it's all bow down to JD, the great MD JD. Great job there, JD. You know, you're splitting atoms. You're building rockets to the moon. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And definitely... Leave a comment down below, especially the people who think what I'm saying is bullshit. And for the people who are the conspiracy theorists, hit me with a comment down below and we will discuss it further down there. Uh, and if you enjoyed the video, hit a thumbs up. If you didn't and you hated it, hit a thumbs down and tell me why. I'm sure you're going to anyway. And please subscribe guys and hit the bell so you get all the notifications when I post all my new videos. Guys, it's been your YWC champ. I'm signing out.